everybody. Hey, Graham. Oh, Graham, are you uh, busy? Oh, what's up? Uh, well, we're live. I mean, there's um, there's a lot of people. Graham. Oh. Uh, there's people watching right now. Oh. I played bridge last night. I, I, I just folding up my results to, I made a dive out of it. It was, it was bad this year. It was bad, so. <laughs> Well, uh, hopefully you can help us so that uh, we don't have to do the same thing with our our results. Um, we recently, uh, you joined us for a video in which um, I asked you when and if we might want to bid after the opponents bid one no Trump. Here's another hand with that question, and I was hoping we could look at that together and you could talk about what we should think about when we're looking at a competitive auction. Sure. And they bid one no Trump. Oh, okay. Nice, nice hand. And so this is uh, uh, playing Ackle. That's a, a twelve to fourteen opening. But let us know how this question might, um, you know, how things might break differently if uh, for the strong one of Trump players. Okay. Okay. Quite, a, quite an interesting hand. Okay. So there's three points. I think. To, well, there's two points to make about this hand. The first is that when you're deciding whether or not to overcall one no Trump, one of the important things is vulnerability. And it's not just our vulnerability that is important here. We're vulnerable, so if we bid something and go down, that's bad. But the other thing to think about is that the opponents are vulnerable. Mm. Now, I know a lot of you can't stand the thought of playing in one no Trump because sometimes it's quite hard. I'm terrified of it <laughs> almost terrified. every time. Well, East is <clears throat> excuse me. East is possibly terrified as well because she's vulnerable. Mm. So defending against one no Trump when the opposition are vulnerable can be quite good because if we can get East down by two, mm. it might be better to defend one no Trump rather than bid something ourselves. Mm. And we're also vulnerable, so that makes it bad if we go down. Mm. So when both sides are vulnerable, that's the worst time to compete. Mm. When neither are vulnerable, that's the best side to compete. So that's the first point. Mm. Second thing here is that, uh, you know, I'm going to bid two clubs on this hand because, heck, I've got a nice six-card club suit, not a bad hand. Some of you out there, you'll be playing these fancy conventions where you know, two clubs shows the majors or something, something, something. I don't like that stuff. So if you're used to, if you're, the downside of playing special overcalling conventions is that sometimes you can't show your hand naturally. And I love on this hand just bidding two clubs just because I've got clubs. So mm. simple, right? Mm. So for me, it's an easy two club overcall and it, I'm just showing clubs. I'm happy with that. Now, here we, this has become more interesting. East and West are trying to play in two hearts. So East has got 12 to 14 points. West didn't open the bidding. So we know that he's got less than 12. He didn't even try to invite the game. So he'll have a few points for bidding two hearts, but not so many. Mm. So it looks like partner must have some points, right? We've got 14 here, and the opposition have stopped at the two level. Mm. So if the opposition are, don't want to play in game, they don't want to even invite to game, that means they must have, they can't have 25, 24, 20, you know, partner's got to have something. So we've got to decide, do we want to defend against two hearts or do we want to play the hand ourselves, We try and play the hand ourselves? And West there, he's looking too happy to me. Look at that big smiley face. <laughs> he's looking like he re he's really happy playing in two hearts. So we don't want that. Mm. So now I'm going to bid, well, what what do you think? What would you do there, Bajir? Well, the, the two options, I suppose, would be 
two spades or three clubs, and I think I would bid two spades and let the partner decide. Oh, you're the man, Bajir. That's perfect. That's great. Whoosh. Two spades. That can't be a five. That's not going to be a five card suit because if you had a five card spade suit, you would have bid two spades on the first round, not the second round. Mm. So partner will know that you've only got a four card spade suit. Mm. And when you bid two clubs, as an overcall, that's got to be at least five. So partner will know you've got four spades and at least five, probably six clubs. So you, and, and partner can decide. If you've got a spade fit, that's great. If your partner doesn't like spades, you can go back to three clubs. Mm. Nice one. Let's see how the auction, let's take a peek at the hand. So partner does like spades. Guessing this is as high as we want to go though, right? Let's see, yeah, we're done. We're, okay. we're not doing anymore. Okay. That's, that's, uh, we have a, that's fair contract. Um, you can make this Bajir if you're smart. Let's leave it to the, let's leave it to everyone to have a go at that hand. It's a good hand. I think you can, I think you can make it. Actually, I remember this hand from a couple of days ago. Mm. And um, I had, this is the auction I had, and I, I can't remember if I made three or four hearts, but you can do uh it. All right, the challenge is there. I'll leave a link for anyone watching this video if you'd like to play this hand. Uh, you can find the link to play this hand in the description below. Good one. All right, thank you, Graham. Much appreciated. Thanks, all. See you next okay. time. Bye-bye.